this problem before I uh, turn it into uh, Apple, well, AMAC here in the Netherlands. I've talked to Apple several times and they don't know how to solve this problem. They've never heard of this problem. And I'll show you what the problem is. Anytime I start up or restart, and these modern computers nowadays, you know, you don't really need to restart so much, but when you do, when you travel, it's a big hassle. I'll show you what I mean. So if I restart, it restarts fine, it'll start up fine. There we go. Uh -huh. We're now at three minutes since I started filming. Okay. Now I can see my cursor. And then it says this. A critical software update is required for your... Boom. To install the update, you need to connect to a network, select a Wi-Fi network below, or other network options to connect to the internet using the using other network devices. That's just a bummer. I mean, what if you're traveling and uh, you don't have a, uh, a network device or you don't have an internet connection? And I had that happen, which is why I'm now taking it back to AMAC because this is ridiculous. Uh, you choose your network down below here. It asks for a password. Fill that in, I'm gonna put it down. Click uh, continue. And then you get this whole rigmarole. Your network connection cannot be configured. We will not be able to set up iCloud or connect to the internet right away. Click again to exchange your network settings, to change network settings, or click continue to skip network configuration for now. And uh, so I'm going to try again. And uh, now, now it works, well works, you know, with uh, quote marks. Now it's gonna go through this whole, you know, rigmarole. And now we're, you know, we're six minutes in the video now. Now what's the biggest problem with this problem is, like you can maybe live with this, you know, like, okay, well, you know, you don't restart that much. Um, but one time it's probably not going to work. But the biggest problem is the Apple people I have spoken to said, well, never heard of this problem, never seen it, but it sounds like a hardware problem, so you better get it fixed for sure while it's under warranty because you don't know what's going to happen in, in two years or three years when this thing might completely go and then, you know, you're out, you're, you're uh, beep out of luck because of uh, a hardware problem that should have been catch by Apple before they ship this machine, because this thing was like that right since I ever got it from AMAC. I even wonder if they didn't... Well, anyway, it was like that since the beginning, you know. Um, this problem existed since the day it arrived here uh, out of the box. Okay, well, see, now you get this whole thing. I'll well, try again. It's like... A care, an error was a kind during update. Okay, well, you know, so every time you go through this whole freak out session from, oh gosh, is it gonna work? Now we're seven and a half minutes into the video, into this process. My last Mac, I've had many Macs with marks for here over the years. MacBooks, Pros, you know, laptops. And the last one I had for, for many years, but it, it died after, I guess it was six years, which is not that bad, but it had a hardware problem in the end. Um, so I wanna make sure I you know don't have another hardware problem down the line. So now we're eight minutes into the video. The process is still going on. And what Apple had me try to do, I should note, was uh, Totally uh, wipe the system, you know, make a full backup first. Well, I'll try again. You gotta keep hitting this try again. Eventually it seems to kick in. Well, at least every time till now. I've had this thing for uh, 11 months. Uh, in the beginning I thought it was normal and then I realized after a few months I didn't restart that much. Well, this isn't normally get a critical error like that every time. In the beginning it wasn't as intrusive as this. It just gave you the message. 
clicked OK, and it kind of worked. Just took longer. It's getting worse with the with the months here. But anyway, Apple said totally wipe your system. Uh, you know, make a make a full time machine, which worked really well. The time machine actually. Uh, reinstall totally. You know, wipe it, reformat it, reinstall. Got you know that worked fine. And uh, but the problem, as you see, still exists after doing the backup, time machine backup, even before that, it just still exists, existed. Like I said, it existed out of the box. It's not a big uh, mystery. The big mystery is why, I guess, but um, the problem is here, that's, that's pretty clear. Three, two, one. 10 minutes into the process, and we get another try again button. Well, we're not gonna quit now, we're gonna try again. Because you have to get your your you have to get your stuff right, you know. Got to get to work. <clears throat> I remember back in the day with you know some of the first Macintoshes I had to use, you know, desktop machines back then. It would take this long to start up. It seemed like you know you back then I'd smoke a few cigarettes and it would be done and grab a cup of coffee and that was fine. But those days are long gone. I don't smoke anymore, thank God. I still drink coffee, but I'm trying to drink less, you know and uh, right now we're coming up on 11 minutes and, you know, I, with these modern machines, I could have had a lot done already, but now I'm sitting here making this video, talking to you, sharing this problem. So if anyone else has it, they will know what to do. I'll have to, of course, make a part two because I'm taking this machine in right after this video back to AMAC where I bought this in the Netherlands. Well, okay, let's try again. It's 11.11. Into the video, but we're gonna go for it. Ah, look at that! Bingo! Now I'm gonna stop here because what happens after this? You get your login, um, and you can um, use your computer. It works fine after this. The problem is if it ever shuts down because of a problem, which didn't doesn't happen that much with this machine. It has happened a few times. Or if you have to restart, go on an airplane, or you know, you're gonna travel, whatever it might be, uh, yeah, you get this whole rigmarole. And what you see right now, we're 12 minutes into the video. We'll see what happens going into Apple or AMAC now. Called AMAC, went down to a store like they recommended in Delft, and she basically said, well, we got about a five week minimum waiting list to fix it, and it's under warranty, but you can better just head into uh, The Hague call them, make an appointment with the Apple Store at a genius, so-called genius bar. So I called them, got an appointment the same day, so I'm going to head down there and, uh, you know, see what's going on. Okay, here we are, Dig. Massage. And we're going to drop it off. Got a new motherboard, so we'll see if that works. Uh, hey, one week they took care of it, so that's positive. And uh, they never heard of the problem here either, so kind of weird. But anyway, they took care of it. Well, at least they should have. We'll see in a moment. I uh, haven't done the time machine yet, but I'm gonna. I had the first update to a new, latest version of the OS. That's the problem because the time machine's using a. Uh, on this Lacey here, pretty cool little drive, like a Porsche. Uh, using the latest OS Mac version, so I have to get that on the on the MacBook Pro here, and then we should be in business. All right, let's see if it now kicks in. Doesn't require me to connect to the internet for any kind of crazy updates every single time. Well, I see a cursor. All right, guys. Well, it worked here. You see, I'm now uh, back. I uh, time machine was really great. I have it on this uh, Lassie Lacy backup drive, you know, just USB C, and it it. I mean, it starts out saying nine hours, but it only took uh, about uh, three four hours, so uh, wasn't that bad. Everything more or less comes back. Had some problems with Adobe Creative Suite. It was installed on too many machines. You can only you're allowed to install on two machines, so I had to remove from one machine, which you do via their interface online. Had great support from Adobe support, I have to add. They were very fast and 
you know, had a live chat with them right there and they took care of it. Uh, a couple of little small things with the email, but basically emails come back, everything, you know, pretty smooth. Um, it's a bummer this happened in the beginning. That's why I'm sharing this video because maybe someone else runs into this problem and basically you just got to contact Apple right away. I wouldn't mess around um, and, you know, they'll take care of it like they did in this case. That's a positive. And yeah, so yeah, back up and running. You know, the latest OS on here. Everything's cooking good right now, so it's going really, really well. So hope this uh, never happens to you, but I guess if you're watching this far, it may it might have. So wish you luck. All right, take care.